Hello! Welcome to All A Plus Essays. The best among the best. My name is Julie and I will be your instructor as we read through Sarbanes Oxley Act of 2002 article review essay. The article source is embedded in the video description below. Feel free to read along. Please note that you can get a custom, plagiarism free essay for as little as $10 a page at All A Plus Essays. The link is in the description. The Sarbanes Oxley Act was a daring attempt to legislate morality with the intentions of restoring integrity with the public and financial markets. The Sarbanes Oxley Act is a direct result from corporate scandals like WorldCom, Enron, Adelphia, and Tyco, which succeeded in the collapse of these major corporations and ruined people on registered trademark S lives. The mistreatment of employees and investors by flagrantly unethical business practices cost some their life savings and retirement portfolios while others went to jail because they were part of the scandals. The provision regarding ethics in business contained within the Sarbanes-Oxley Act helped to ensure and deter unethical business practices. There are two particular provisions that have a big effect on organizations on their ethical decision-making. The first is the requirement corporations must create a code of ethics for senior financial officers that include enforcement mechanisms and the regular rotation of outside auditors. There are other requirements such as Section 303 on improper influence on conduct of audits. Section 306 on inside to trades during pension fund blackout periods. And Section 307 which state the rules of responsibility for attorneys. Oren, 2008. But the first two mentions have the power collectively to regulate corporations internally and externally. The Code of Ethics is a schematic for each corporation for governance within the organization to regulate and set acceptable standards for directors, officers, accountants, and employees. The mandatory rotation of auditors ensures the organization has a truly independent audit that allows auditors to question and criticize business practices of the corporation experiencing the audit. The SOX should have went one step farther by mandating audit firm rotation rather than just rotation of the lead person doing the audit, which would ensure complete independence of the audits. The rotation will ensure if one auditor misses unethical practices or as part of it will be discovered and discontinue with the rotation. The out-of-pocket expense for compliance has many critics who say this is an unfair burden on corporations. However have made significant strides against unethical business practices. The criminal penalties for which the Act provides includes fines, imprisonment, loss of exchange listing, and loss of D&O insurance depending on which section of the SOX the corporation is out of compliance with. The CFO or CEO who unknowingly submits a wrong certificate could be fined up to 1 million and up to 10 years of prison, if knowingly then he or she could be subject up to 5 million and up to 20 years imprisonment. OE the ultimate incentive, which may prove to be the sine qua non, is that a failure to do so could expose them to the disastrous possibility of being deemed to have embraced these historical problems and to become accountable for them as their own. Oren, 2008. The Sarbanes-Oxley Act was drafted by Rep. Michael Oxley and Sen. Paul Sarbanes, which was intended to protect investors by ensuring improving the reliability and accuracy of corporation unregistered trademark as disclosures of corporate financial performances. The SOX ensures that executives are held accountable for all financial issue even if unknown, forcing them to become more involved and monitor the accuracy of what is being reported to be true and accurate. References Oren, R.M. 2008. Ethical Guidance and Constraint under the Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002. Journal of Accounting, Auditing and Finance, 23, 1, 141-171. SOX Online. 2012. Sarbanes Oxley Essential Information. Retrieved from http colon slash slash www.soxonline.com basics. HTML. Thank you for taking your time to listen to me. I hope you enjoyed learning about Sarbanes Oxley Act of 2002 article review essay as much as I did. Kindly remember that you can get a custom, plagiarism free essay at all A plus essays for as little as little as $10. The link is in the description. See you next time.